Hello children. I hope you are doing well today. So let's get started with our fourth lesson of UESST for grade 6, the Republic of Venice. Here we have the learning objectives to explore the history of the Republic of Venice and to understand the importance of keeping promises. UAE Link, UAE had prosperous shipbuilding industry and they were good seafarers in ancient times. The CC Link, it is linked with history as the topic deals with the past glory of Venice. We have a warm-up question, children, over here. This is a textual question. So, what are some of the advantages of traveling by sea instead by land? So, I have written down five uh, advantages over here. You can go through this slide. So let's begin the lesson, children. Venice is a small city in Italy made up of over 100 small islands. So instead of streetcars, which we find moving around in our cities, since this city is being made with 100 small islands, you won't find the streetcars over here, but you will find the boats. So you have to row the boat in moving around into the city. Nowadays, Venice is just a popular tourist attraction. It's a tourist destination in present times but in high middle ages it was wealthy and an influential maritime power when we talk about the 12th century children during that time venice was controlled much of the adriatic and the aegean seas venice grew wealthy and powerful because of the trading relationship which they established with not only Egypt but other Middle Eastern countries. So this small little city of 100 islands at one time was one of the wealthiest and influential maritime power. So let us unfold Venice. Now you can see over here children, these Venetians had a strong navy and since they had a strong navy, they had those huge big big ships and those ships were called as galleys. They were so large enough that 100 oars men were required to row those huge galleys through the water. These armed soldiers used to stand on the main decks of the ships ready to battle with the sea decoids which we call them as pirates. Then the enemy ships if they found them approaching and trying to capture them and any other perils or dangers of the sea. So they had the armed soldiers standing on the deck all set to defend themselves so besides those hundred oarsmen we had the armed soldiers on those ships they were the most powerful protectors of the byzantine empire's seas as there was a deal which was made between the venetians and the emperor of the Byzantine Empire. So they protected those seas. In fact, they were the only real navy that this empire had during that time. That means the Byzantine Empire didn't have its own powerful navy but was dependent on these Venetians. Now these ships were so powerful that in 1082 
the Byzantine Emperor Alexis Comnenus signed a treaty with Venice. In exchange for the Venetians' help against the Normans, this Normans were a very fierce, very arrogant group of warriors from France. The Venetians enjoyed free trade throughout the empire without tariffs, as they were helping the Byzantine emperor Alexis Comnenus against this fierce group of warriors that is the Normans from France. Venetian navies supported Byzantine Empire to control the Middle East in exchange for a promise of profits from future wars. So whatever would be the profits, it should be divided amongst the Byzantine Empire and the Venetians. These arrangements made Venice the wealthiest and most powerful people of those times. Now these Venetians were also flourishing in trade with the Egyptians. Since these Venetians controlled several important ports such as Constantinople and so on, it was very good deal for these Venetians who became wealthy through trade. So they had the Egyptians and these Egyptians were trading with exclusively with these Venetians as their trading partners for spices and other goods. So since they had a flourishing trade with the Egyptians that added to their wealth. So if you see today children, again I am repeating it, Venice is not holding that prime importance in present time except for it is the most popular tourist destination. So Venice today is not holding any sort of power or influence which it had once upon a time. However, you can see when you visit Venice, you can see certain medieval buildings, churches which still exist over there which reminds us of the past glory of Venice. Now here we come to activity one children. Please go through this activity in which you have to just write true or false for the statements. This is activity two children. You can go through these five questions. These are all textual exercises which has been put up over here with the answers. Activity three is a map work to be done in the textbook itself children. Activity four, you can see the answers over here. The different kinds of masks. So here we come to activity five, which is again your textual activity children. Please go through this answer. Activity six needs to be done by you. It is a personal response question. So please do it in your textbook. to the end of this lesson children thank you so much for watching my channel if you haven't subscribed then please do subscribe press the bell icon and if you liked my video then please give me a thumbs up share it remain safe children meet you next time with my some new videos till then bye bye